Yo, what is up guys? Disco here, and today we have my first ever episode of my top 5 Pokemon series where I do every single typing, and maybe even some trainers and stuff like that at the very end there, but it's just the top 5. This is Today it's top 5 favorite water type. By all means, this is not for competitive, this is not for anything, it's just my favorite Pokemon. If you guys have a different opinion, this is all my opinion. If you have a different opinion, leave it in the comment section, your top 5 favorite water type. I'd actually like to see that, actually see what your favorite water types are but yeah so uh let's get into this at let's go to number five in the number five spot today we have all the way from first generation we have kingler the og crab i just loved kingler ever since i played red blue yellow when i needed a pokemon to surf i caught that crabby and when it evolved it was just freaking so powerful when it grabbed that big hook or fucking crab hammer of a claw there and fucking just demolish anything that was in front of it it was truly an unbelievable pokemon there's only two water types i liked more from that from the first generation that are actually the next few pokemon here so yeah i loved kingler just everything about him was super awesome and uh i really hope he would get a mega it'd just be unbelievable if he got a mega this is my opinion at the number four spot today we have Cloyster, the shell Pokemon. I loved Cloyster. I don't know what it was about him, but he was just so beastly. He had like his perfect defense, and I don't know. He's just a perfect shield. In the competitive, I used him a good amount on Pokemon Showdown and stuff in the last little bit, and it's just like he's grown on me. Plus, back in the day when watching the anime, even though he had a, such a small, small appearance in the anime, I just loved how he was. He was just so good in the anime and. I don't know, it's just stuck with me ever since watching it all the way back then. So, uh, yeah, that's the number four spot. It's Cloyster. At the number three spot, we're jumping all the way back to second generation in the Johto region with Politoed. Politoed, I just loved because of one reason at all. It's a little story time with Disco Time right here. Alright, back when I was... I don't know, I was into Pokemon. I remember doing a bunch of chores around my house. Just, and I got a few, my first ever, like, amount of money that was mine personally. So I went down to where we have a store called Chow's, which sells cards. Went down to Chow's Variety, and I purchased, like, five packs of Pokemon cards with the money I made. And the first pack, the first holographic I ever bought with my own money was a Politoed holographic card. It's, on, it's actually the picture in this right now. I just loved, and it's just stuck with me ever since getting that card. And I don't know, it's just, I have that card actually till this day. And it's like, it's kind of a little bit bad condition because I was young as shit, but whatever. That's why he's number four, or three, sorry. Um, and another reason is he has that a bit ability, hidden ability drizzle, which is rain dance. He can have this perfect rain dance set up and competitive. And plus, he looks fucking awesome. So that, at number three spot, we have Politoed. For the number two spot today, we go back to the first generation for the third Pokemon on this list from that generation, Armistar. I don't know what I love about Armistar so much. I just, back when I just drew his card one day from a pack my parents gave me, and it just looked amazing. And yeah, I know it just stuck with me. Plus, when I was playing Red and Blue the first time, I didn't pick, I picked the Helix Fossil and got my Armistar. He's my second favorite fossil. And when everyone, the big hype about Kabutops, how he looks friggin' like, I don't know, just everyone thinks he looks amazing. I personally liked Almastar's look more. This more of a snail, which was kind of cool. I don't know. All in all, I thought he was, he's, yeah, definitely one of my favorite Pokemon up to date in the top 15 favorite Pokemon. And yeah, that's why I like him so much. And at the number one spot today, we have my all-time favorite Pokemon. He's just turned into that a few weeks ago when I was watching the 10th season of the anime, Ducklet. In that episode with where the three Ducklets steal, like Ash's hat, the Sand Isles glasses, and the one gym leader's cooking pot, I just fell in love with them. It's just because, like, every turn when they th they thought, like, oh, they're, gonna, they're having a heart-to-heart, -heart, they're going to give all their stuff back, they just become the... They just became dicks, and it was just hilarious, and it was probably the greatest episode of Pokemon, in my opinion. I just love the episode. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, something about that 
that episode is just amazing. Uh, yeah, and it shows that Ducklet is the the asshole of the Pokemon Kingdom, and yeah, that's why I like him so much. That's why I based my mascot around him. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed my top five favorite um, water type Pokemon. Uh, next week, we have my top five favorite fire types. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This has been Disco. I am out. Peace.